Michael Bunch. I'm the plant pathologist at the Carrington Research Center with NDSU. One of the research projects we've been working on is fine-tuning our recommendations on when you should apply a fungicide for white mold on soybeans and when you should actually apply two fungicide applications. And there are basically three things you should be, uh, that our research indicates you should consider. First, when are the conditions occurring that favor white mold? What growth stage are you at when the cool, wet weather comes in? If the cool, wet weather comes in as the soybeans are entering full bloom, 100% of plants that are R2 growth stage, you are at high risk for white mold. And you are very likely to get a strong response to the fungicide. If, on the other hand, the cool, wet weather does not roll in until you are at the R4 growth stage, which is towards the end of bloom, but you're still at bloom, you still have dead blossoms out there, what we find is that the white mold development is significantly delayed, the amount of disease you get is lower, and the response that you get from the fungicide is much lower. So again, your risk of white mold is highest when, disease, when conditions con favorable for white mold occur early. So first, you look at when the, what the growth stage is, when the, when the conditions favor white mold. And then you ask yourself, what is the maturity of my soybean? The longer the maturity of the soybean, the more disease you're likely to get. Okay? Uh, there is a strong linear relationship between the soybean maturity and the amount of disease that develops because the bloom period is longer and longer maturity soybeans. Then you look at the degree of canopy closure at that time. If the canopy is open, you're going to get fewer infection events than if it's than if it's closed. If you still have enough of a canopy within the row that it can trap some moisture, but you have ground showing between the rows, even 30-40% of the ground showing between the rows, you can get white mold and you get a response to white mold, but you're likely to have a lower response than if the canopy is closed at that time. And you're most likely to need that second fungicide application when the canopy is closed when the soybeans are at the full R2 growth stage and you're, you have a long maturity bean. And, uh, and so to recap, the chance that you get a response to a fungicide is proportional to the maturity of the soybeans and the degree of the canopy closure at the time that the soybeans enter full bloom.